First, we want to apply constant pressure from our upper leg to decrease the beta swing. The main focus here is that we want to keep that small beta swing going without interruptions. Now I know that this sounds a bit too easy. The difficult part right here is that we have to A. Apply constant pressure from our upper leg. That's not an active up and down motion from our upper leg, just a static contraction. And we want to combine this with B. Quickly contracting and relaxing our calves. So for our lower legs we need to be relaxed, no tension at all to get our heels to move up and down quickly. A great exercise to get used to this combination of applying pressure while staying relaxed at the same time is this. We place our feet on the pedals and start to play 60 notes at a comfortable tempo. Then we switch to 60 note triplets for a short period of time. In my mind, when I'm starting to play those fast 60 note triplets, I think of it like I'm stepping on the gas pedal. Some of our students at the Drum Tink Academy that like to use a heavier spring tension tend to lean forward while applying constant pressure from their upper leg. That is fine as well, but just be aware that leaning forward can put some extra stress on your lower back right here. So over time we recommend to build up the habit of applying this pressure without the need to lean forward at the same time. By the way, all three exercises in this video are about how to increase your double bass single stroke roll speed. So we are not going to talk about slide doubles, no heel toe doubles or heel toe singles or all that other shebang. Just a regular ankle technique all the way. Now on to exercise two. This is the easiest to apply right away. All we got to do for this one is to move our feet all the way to the front of the footboard. If you try different foot positions on the footboard, you will find out that every foot position has certain advantages and disadvantages. If we place our feet all the way to the back of the footboard, we will get a bigger beta swing and this allows us to perform the ankle technique at tempos from 140 to 160 BPM. If we place our feet around the middle of the footboard, the sweet spot of most pedals, then it's easier to control the beta swing and the pedal does most of the work for us. And if we place our feet all the way to the front part of the footboard, it becomes way easier to decrease the beta swing and play really fast. Be aware that if you are using an extremely low spring tension and you relax your upper leg at the same time, then this will cause you to bury your bass drum beta and you won't get a decent beta swing. That's just happening because the weight of your upper and lower leg is resting on the pedals. And now my friends, on to option number three. With this one, we are focusing on our heels. The main aim here is to bring our feet in a position where we are only able to create a small up and down motion. The first step to get this down is to raise our heels as high as possible. Just imagine contracting your calf muscle to the point where you can't raise your heels any higher. That's our starting position. Then we quickly drop our heels just a little bit and then quickly contract our calves again. One drummer that uses this one with his right foot is Kevin Parody, who is by the way one of the fastest, if not the fastest drummer worldwide using this technique right now. And yes, you are right, this foot position doesn't look really comfortable, but you can expect to look completely relaxed if you want to play double bass up to 300 beats per minute. That, my friend, would be the same as asking a power lifter to look chill and relaxed while deadlifting 800 pounds. <laughs>